Hello, lovely humans. Uh, this is a walkthrough of the projects by Energy Module. Um, this is basically a different way of laying out your projects. And if you're anything like me, where you're not super strict or anal about your productivity system, um, this is the template for you. I've also left a little checklist in the bottom here, which I'll go through, um, which helps me stay on top of which projects are priority and get to the good stuff. So firstly, uh, thank you for anyone who has downloaded my Building a Second Brain template. There's been a lot of really, really great um, response from that and some great feedback. Um, this is kind of like an update video on how that could be improved. So if you're already using that template, let me know in the comments section and hopefully this can fit into that. If you haven't seen that, check out the video. Um, template's free. So. Why is Projects by Energy more fun? Because I'm not super anal about my system. Um, this is great if you're a solo creator and you like to get shit done, but you're not going to put deadlines on everything. Um, really, this is a agile way. It's flexible, so meaning that like within the week, a project that um, is in high energy, like here on extreme energy, uh, might make its way down to low energy by the end of the week. Um, really every day I'm kind of just checking in the projects area and going, oh, okay, is this project what I'm spending a lot of time on? Does it require me to put a lot of energy into it? Um, or is it kind of going down the stack? In which case I pick it up and I move it across and I might put it in like the low energy area. And then I'll come to it on Thursday and say, oh, actually, this logo design is like taking a lot more time. I need to give it more energy and the deadline's coming up. Cool, let's move that into the high energy area. So throughout the week, throughout the month, you're probably moving this stuff around on the fly. Um, the way that I prioritize projects is kind of through a checklist like this. Um, basically, I just ask myself these questions and then readjust my uh, energy that I'm putting into them accordingly. Um, basically, I'm checking for a couple things. I'm checking for if it's fitting my vision and my like highest goals and life fulfillment alignment. Um, I'm also checking that I'm focusing on the 20% of the work, which gives me 80% of the results. And then doing a leverage check, seeing how much uh, leverage I have around the project. Uh, meaning, do I have ways of automating something? Do I have someone to support me with through labor or um, extra money or content that I can throw at it? And then I'm also doing a people check, which is making sure that the collaborators I'm working on with that project are people that I want to hang around um, that bring me some fulfillment and are fun to play with. So that's the template. And I can kind of show you a little bit of how I'm using this with some real uh, search stuff. Mine's exactly the same, um, this energy layout. Um, if I keep scrolling down, you can see the normal layout somewhere. There it is, just this is by area, um, less viewed than the energy area. So I'm gonna break it down in my setup. So writing this blog article is super high energy for me right now, it's like top focus. There's a couple other high ones, which are ideation sessions and project briefs. Um, some medium priority stuff is like doing a marketing push on the site that I built. And then there's stuff kind of like sinking back into idle, um, stuff that's becoming idle, like some copy that I should be writing, uh, might just also sink into the someday maybe category. Um, and it's important to track that. Um, other cool things which are going on in my projects database, which you could add. Um, let me know if you want any of these. I basically have different templates to help me start projects quicker. Um, this ranges from sort of project planning to if it's a writing project, I have a template which helps me to go through my writing process. Um, if it's a new idea to validate, I sort of have a validation canvas, which I look at. And then if it's a new website and landing page that needs to be built, then I already have a template to kind of walk through that process. Um, I'll show you a couple of these. So the new website landing page one is probably 
quite relevant. Da -da -da -da. So it's just helping me to think through this project quicker. Um, so I go through like the site identity, the branding, um, and then going through kind of rough uh, wireframing uh, information architecture stuff. And then I'll insert the final wireframes here in via Figma or an image um, before thinking about other things like delivery and payment walls. So that's kind of one template there. Um, another template that I really enjoy here is the new idea to validate thing. Um, really, I find like a lot of what I do is just being able to try and communicate ideas effectively. And this is one of those ways that I try to do that, which is just give myself a structure. Um, the basically, I'm going through the name, the tagline, who it's for, what the problem is that this solves, the solution description, what are the downsides of this idea, um, and a quick user storyboard. Um, and this is cool because then I can share this with someone and be like, hey, do you think this is the right thing to do? Um, so speeding up that flow there. Ah, well, I hope that gives you a good breakdown of what's going on with this project's um, template. If you have any other questions about this, let me know. I hope that you can fit it into your, um, your normal second brain stack. And if there's any kind of second brain specific stuff, I'm actually uh, creating a Telegram group for people to co-support each other with building their second brains um, in Notion mainly. If you like this, share it, pass it to a friend, have some fun, enjoy life.